Hey there, TRW crew, Matt Vassalo here with the rhinestoneworld.com. So this video tutorial is going to show you how to make an awesome design like this for a high school or a local league or anything you want around your area and be able to create something like this in a matter of minutes and be able to send a mock-up like this in a matter of minutes to show them exactly what you can create for you. So in this design here, we have our glitter heat transfer vinyl that we have available on the website at the rhinestoneworld.com. And then we have our crystal Korean low lead stones around the PHS with the cheerleading underneath. And we're using the TRW 130 super small true tight font underneath it. And for the font here, for the glitter, we're actually using the TRW Zebra Bold HTV font. So I'm going to show you exactly how we created this design and how to get an awesome looking mock-up like this to send over to your local schools and get yourself a lot of sales. So this shirt right here on the burnout, we would sell retail for $35.00. And it does have, obviously, the two-colored glitter and the rhinestones around the outside of it. So let's show you exactly how we made this design so we can help make you guys some money. Okay, so we're going to go, we're working in CorelDRAW here. And this is CorelDRAW X5, so I opened a new document here. And then I'm going to go ahead and, of course, click on our TRW Stone Wizard Rhinestone Program. And that's going to pull up here, and that's how we created the design. So you can see this is our TRW Stone Wizard uh, version 1.12. And we are going to go ahead and get started here. So first thing we're going to do is just come over here and click on our text tool. And we're going to type out PHS just like we had there. Okay. Now we're going to enlarge that a little bit. We want to first get our font. So if we go over here to fonts in the TRW Stone Wizard and just type in TRW, that's going to have every single TRW font you've purchased on our website in there. Okay, so the one we're going to select is our TRW Zebra Bold HTV. So you can see this is exactly how that's going to come out. Now we want to make sure to get this sized and we want to get our second color in there. So when you type it with lowercase, this is what you're going to see right here. So you could actually do it like this with the design. And you could have this white part, the actual shirt showing through. So the black here, I'll show you kind of what it looks like. If we go to our magic glitter and I just click on the purple, you'll see the white would actually be your shirt showing through. And then the purple would actually be your glitter vinyl. So if you want to see what that looked like on a shirt, we could just um, click on our actual design here. Let's get it to about the size that we want. Uh, let's go a little under nine inches. And we click on our burnout shirt there. And I'll show you exactly what it's gonna look like. There you go. So you're gonna still see your sh burnout shirt showing through. And that obviously is a design you just created in what, 15 seconds? You created a mock-up in two seconds. And you could send something like this to your customer and probably sell the shirt for $20, $25 pretty easily. And your shirt cost, you're in the 3 to $4 range, just depending on where you're getting your shirt. So the amount of cost you have in this design to what you're going to sell it for, obviously you have your labor involved, but you're making an awesome custom shirt for your customer. Okay, so let's go back to page one. So in the TRW Stone Wizard, it's great because it's going to create a mock-up and it's going to put it on page two. So make sure not to go undo. If you want to change something, just go back to page one and you have your original design. Okay, so let's get back to creating our design here. We have our PHS. Obviously, we want two colors. So we're going to go to edit, two color magic text. Let's see how long it takes to make it two colors. Click a button. Oh, there we go. It's two colors. That wasn't too hard, was it? Now what we can do is, obviously, we would probably want that to be like a silver glitter, okay? So you can see it's two separate um, separate files there and two separate actual objects or layers to be able to separate once you are ready to send it to your cutter. All right, so we got our PHS there. Now what we want to do is highlight the entire design, go to our Edit tab, and we want to add a little bit more spacing in between there. Not too much, but just enough to probably fit a row of stones down the middle there, okay? We're at 9 inches. That's a pretty good size right there. We're at 5.3 inches tall. You know what? I might bring it up a little bit. Let's move it to about 5 inches tall because we're going to put cheerleading underneath here, right? Okay, so we got our PHS. Now what we want to do, we, let's add some rhinestones around the outside of it. Very easy to do. Let's just click on the silver glitter there. And I'm going to go to Arrange, Shaping, and just create a 
uh, boundary around it real quick. So see what that did? It created just a boundary around our PHS. Control Z brings me back. Now I'm going to come over here to the wizard, go to place and fill. I want a one island fill to the outside of our boundary. Okay, so it's going to the outside. And I want to add stones to that fill. All right. I want a contour spacing of probably around 0.1, and that's going to be 0.1 off of that boundary line. I want to do a corner detect so it knows where the corners are when it's placing the stones. And I want my color for now just to be cobalt, just so we can see it good. Okay, so let's click. We have our boundary selected. So we're one island to the outside, add stones, 0.1 contour spacing, and corner detect. So we're going to go ahead and hit Island Fill, and let's see what happens. Bam, there you go. Looks pretty good right there. Now, of course, you're going to see in here, you're going to have some spots where you have some overlaps. No problem at all. Very easy to fix something like that. Let's highlight the entire design, and let's first clear our paths. So that cleared the paths that the stones were on, and we're going to get rid of our boundary. We don't need that anymore. Now I'm going to go ahead and select these stones. So I'm going to select one of my cobalt. Hit same color, it selected all of our stones, and let's just try a mark um, bottom layer overlap. Let's see what that does. So I click on mark bottom layer overlap, and you can see what that did right there. Okay, so that's not bad. We're going to be able to edit this pretty simple right here. So what I want to do is that's looking perfect right there. We're good there. We want probably we want it to probably go straight down off the H. So let's make this one go straight down off the H. So first thing I want to do with that is I want to get the stones to all be around the same area. So let's bring this in a little bit. And that's looking pretty good there. Bring that there. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go to my two-point um, pen tool. Okay. So your two-point line right there. And watch what happens. I'm going to go to this very top one. I'm going to hold shift so it draws a perfectly straight line and then center of the bottom one. Okay, so I have a straight line going all the way down. Now what's going to happen is every single little stone that's touching this line, it's going to pull to the middle and add it perfectly to it. So watch, magic respace, click on it, see what it did right there, pulled them all there. Now a little bit too much spacing there, no problem, just go over here to add some stones. I'm just going to click on that a few times, get... The uh, let's get the spacing to be about the same as the other one over here, which that looks pretty good right there. Now I'm going to hit clear pass. Okay. Now I can come in here and say, all right, I got that right there. It's wrapping around a little bit, a tiny bit of an overlap. So I'm going to do my three point curve and I'm just going to grab these right here. I'm going to go to my edit tab and I'm going to select by curve. So what that is, it just selected all of those stones and I can easily move this down a little bit. And if I click on it again, I can rotate it a tiny bit. And that is looking pretty good right there. So we are good to go with that design, that part of the S right there. Now, let's say we want this to stone out a little bit better. So I'm going to bring that stone to there and then this one to here. Now watch what I'm going to do. Back to our two point, two point line tool. I'm just going to click on this one. Hold shift to there. I'm going to go to our place and fill, magic respace, add a stone, clear pass. That's looking good there, looking good there. Everything's looking good over here. Um, how about here? What do we want to do? Got a little bit of spacing there. We can do one thing. We could center this off of it. Or what we could do, let's go back. And we could change the spacing around on this a little bit to just get a little bit closer to that, which that would probably be my best bet. So I'm going to go to my three-point curve. And let's just start down somewhere in that area, just so there's not as much of a difference in the spacing. We want to grab a good amount of stone so it spaces it out pretty nice. And magic respace looks good there. Let's go ahead and clear pass. So we fix that, fix that. Um, how about this one? Same thing. Let's move it up a tiny bit. Go up here to our three-point curve. And I'm going to go up to where I have 10 or so stones so it does a nice respace. There you go. Magic respace and clear pass. That one's looking good. Good. 
around here good. I probably just want to get rid of these two here to where that S is coming in there. So that looks good. Good, 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 good. Perfect, perfect. Okay, there you go. So now what we want to do, let's add cheerleading underneath. So we're going to click on our text here. We're going to click on this one here and go to, we don't, what we'll do is we'll just type it in lowercase. So cheerleading. And we'll come over here to our fonts and we know we want to use our TRW 130 super small. And I know that the point size for this is about 70 points. So, and that'll be in all of the image, but you can see up here I'm at 70.3. And the reason why I want to know that just off the start is I want to know about where to put it and about the size it's going to be. Because when I go to the wizard here and I go to edit, I'm going to click on my text and spacing tool. And I'm going to drag this out so I have some nice spacing underneath there. Okay. Now I'm going to go to resize my design to SS10s, and now they're all perfect SS10s, okay? Change it to cobalt, so it's the same color as that one, and we are good to go, and this design is pretty much completely done now. So see how easy that was? Now what we want to do is we can say, okay, we want to get a mock-up of this to our customer. So let's just, we use cobalt just so we can see it on the white background. So I clicked on that right there. I can type in CRY, change it all to crystal, highlight the design, we're 9.3 inches wide, go to mockups, go to that burnout shirt. We're gonna click on that and bam, there you go. Now hold control, click on the shirt. They want it on a black shirt and we're gonna lighten up that um, burnout part. We're gonna control here, change our background color, and we want to make it that glitter purple background to match the shirt. How cool does that look? That was actually one of our TRW crew members that showed us doing that in the mock-ups, which is, was a pretty cool idea. It adds a little something to the mock-up to match. Got your logo down there. We got our PHS. Of course, we want to go ahead and go to our mock-ups and add the magic stones. Who wouldn't want magic stones on it, right? There's your magic stone, so it looks exactly like rhinestones on the shirt. And we need magic bling. What's a bling shirt without some bling on it? So throw a bling there. Let's throw a bling, 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 bling. There's some bling. Let's get one more bling there. And that looks pretty sweet. And let's throw one bling at the top right there. Good to go. So there's your mock-up that you can send over to a customer real quick. Just highlight it, go to export, type in your file name there. You can export your PNG, email them over. And once you get used to this, for us to create this design, it took maybe three to four minutes to create this entire design without walking you through step by step, just so you can see how to do it. So very, very cool. If you want them to see a better image of the design, and you want to put it on your website, just highlight it and go to mockups. Then you're going to create a customer mockup with no shirt. Watch what happens when I click on that one. Yes, I want to ungroup them all. And there you go. You can change your description to whatever you want. You want it to be PHS High School uh, Rhinestone Design. And very easily just shrink that down in so it fits in there nicely. If for any reason you wanted that to be a purple, you could do that. And again, magic stones. So just click on your design, hit magic stones. There's your stones, magic bling. Let's throw some bling in the design right there so they can see it when we send them a mock-up here or if they're on the website just seeing the design. So bling, 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 bling. And there we go. You got your magic bling there, PHS. Now, how awesome is that? That's something that your customers are going to love. And you create different mock-ups like that. So they say, the school comes back and they say, you know what? I really love that design, but you know what? I think that design would look cool on a tank top. Or we got a whole group of moms that want that design or a whole group, the whole cheerleading team wants that on a tank top. No problem. Just pull up your file, go over to the tank top in the TRW wizard. Click on your tank top and bam, there you go. Click on it. They want it on a yellow tank top. Sure, no problem. They want it on a black. We can lighten up our background a little bit. Let's change our magic glitter to the purple. And there you got a black tank top view of it. 
and anything you want. So all the different mockups we have in here, you can create in a matter of minutes. So let's say you want to make this design a little bit smaller. And let's just say it was a, um, let's go four by seven design or 3.8 by 6.4. What you could also do is when you go to your mockups and we go to our accessories, we can click right here on our rhinestone car decals. Look how sweet that looks on the back of a car. Okay, another thing you could do, go back to page one, highlight it, let's get it back to our original size. And we want it on a drawstring bag. Let's click on that drawstring bag. There you go, perfect on the drawstring bag. I mean, any color they want. They want a green bag, they want a blue bag, they want an orange bag, a peach bag, a brown bag. Any color bag they want, you can easily create that for them. You can easily go to your magic litter and change the background so it looks like something cool. We actually just made 75 of these bags right here for one of our local gymnastics teams with their gymnastics logo in rhinestone. So they're cotton drawstring bags that you can apply your heat transfer vinyl to and your rhinestones too. So we, we custom made these bags to be able to withstand the heat for the heat transfer vinyls and the rhinestones, just like our tote bags and everything else. So <laughs> hope this video did help you out. Again, the different items that we did use in this video, I'm gonna show you. Obviously we used our TRW Stone Wizard version 1.12, uh, which is a add-on to Corel Draw X4, X5, and X6. So you do need to have X4, X5, or X6, 32, or 64-bit version to go ahead and run the macro. Macro is available on the website. You'll see the link right below this video to purchase it. Um, we also used our TRW, um, TRW HTV Bold, and it's our Zebra Bold HTV True Type font. That's available on the website as well. And I'm going to put a link right below this video to every item that we used in this video so you can you know exactly where to get what you want. Um, the cheerleading was done in the TRW 130 True Type font. Um, obviously, the outline was just done in the TRW Stone Wizard. The colors we have here is our purple glitter. Um, heat transfer vinyl and our silver glitter heat transfer vinyl. Um, anything else that we use? I think that's mainly it. So if you do have any questions, make sure to give us a call. Numbers 941-755-1696. If you did like this video and it is helping you out, make sure to click that like button below so we know that the videos are helping you out. Make sure to comment on the video. Let us know what you think about this design. Let us know if you think you would be able to sell a design like this because we like to get your feedback. We like to know, we like to kind of find out what works for you guys, what's working for your schools or your teams or, or whoever you're selling to. And we know this stuff works for us on our other side of the business where we sell a lot of it, this exact design right here. But it's so simple to create in the TRW Stone Wizard and so simple to make as far as the pressing and cutting process that the amount of money that you can charge for a custom design like this is great for your business. So again, if you have any questions, give us a call. Number is 941-755-1696. This is Matt with the rhinestoneworld.com and you guys all have a great day.